got a moment to hear about the Low House. It mean a lot to me and to others. Good to know there's still some folks who can take an interest in the welfare of others. The Low House is a place where folks down on their luck can get a hot meal and a bed to sleep in. More importantly, they can do it with some dignity. No need to beg or steal. Everything's given with no questions asked and no favors owed. I run the place. Have for years. But to do it, I have to rely on the kindness of others. Trying to, anyway. Look, I'll be honest with you. We get a little help from some other wealthier folks in the city. But it's barely enough. It takes credits to provide for those in need. And I'm hoping you'll be willing to contribute. If you can spare a few credits, it'll do a lot of good. Thank you. I don't know if you believe in karma, but I do. I think you just end yourself some. If you're serious, I'm drowning in work. Philborn Agriculture Systems fits basically everyone in the stretch. Bless the Philborn brothers. But their latest in Tillyweed shipment is late. I'm not worried yet, but getting there. Could you ask Sarah Philborn what the holdup is, very politely? This is a huge help. If there's anything you can do to speed up the wheat delivery, please do it. I'll have more work for you when you get back. My mother wanted me to be a doctor. Intelliweet is revolutionary. Why waste time with brewing when you can do so much good and make so many more credits? If you're here for Weston, he's underfoot somewhere, either here or at the factory. But please, if it's about that brewing nonsense, kindly leave. They don't need any more encouragement. I'm not some stuck up teetotaler. My problem with the business is more nuanced. Weston, that's my husband. Well, he's never been what I'd call a dreamer or a visionary. He's a practical man, good with ledgers and numbers. His brother Henry's the creative one, but he seems to have lost interest in growing the company. And now all he wants to do is brew beer. Philburn Agricultural Systems could provide the whole of the settled systems with food, not just Aquila City. Seems those two are content to think small. Well, I wish you were the one I had to convince. Well, you didn't come here to hear me natter on. Anything else? <sighs> I know, we're late. It's been this whole frustrating episode. Short version, the farming equipment outside the walls needs to be manually rebooted. But the guards aren't going to be able to send people to fix it for days. We're committed to helping the unfortunates on the stretch but the Ashta are just too dangerous for us to send someone. You would do that? If you get it rebooted, 
I'll get the harvest going ASAP. We can get the weed to Amira quick. I'll talk with my husband, but I'm sure we could arrange payment. You'd be helping our business too, after all. Just, just be careful. Ashta are very dangerous. that kind of damage. Is that true? Nope. Nope. I used to be an actuary. We don't get that wheat. The emergency fund's empty. So please, that is good, good news. Uh, what was the holdup, anyway? I don't mean to be callous, but working with the low house, I see how bad people got it. We have trouble looking... Oh, dear Lord. Please, you have to know I had no idea. Don't, don't take any risks like that again, please. The law house is a mission of mercy. I don't want anyone to be hurt on our account. I hate to ask it, but this next errand should be safe. Easy. Everything runs on charity. And our benefactors, though kind, I think sometimes... Well, get sick of seeing me. A new face may ease up the purse strings, or at least save me some errands. 
It's touch and go, sometimes. Pesta too much, and they could turn their back on the project. Too little, and people suffer. So, the mayor, Elias Cartwright, has always been generous to us, but it's been a while since he's donated. Raisha Lanz is a huge benefactor. Laredo Firearms has been vital for us. Both of those are routine. More polite reminders, really. The last is a long shot, probably futile. But the Trade Authority is incredibly wealthy, and they have never ever donated to us. If you could convince Duncan Lynch to give us anything, heck, a single credit even, I'd consider it a victory. You are a breath of fresh air. Once you're done with that, come back to me. You take care. Sarah Filburn and her brother-in-law, Henry? Aquila City truly is the jewel of the Free Star Collective. Good to meet you, friend. Name's Elias Cartwright. I'm the mayor of Aquila City. Now, I've got a memory for faces, and I can't say I've seen yours around here before. I make it a point to introduce myself to everyone who passes through our fine city. As the founder himself once said, there's no substitute for a warm welcome and a friendly smile. You're more than welcome. As I'm sure you know, us folk in the Free Star Collective put great stock in human kindness and generosity of spirit. I like to think that's what sets us apart from our neighbors in the United Colonies. We don't rely on machines or bureaucracy. We rely on each other. I won't pry about what brought you here. That's all of your business and none of mine. However, I'd be more than happy to give you the scoop about the core and Midtown. What day is it? Oh, shoot! I forgot. I'll send over my usual monthly donation to Amira. She truly is a wonder. And with the building project her and Mr. Tate are planning, there may be a day when the stretch is a distant memory. I'll talk with Amira later. I didn't mean to cause any problems. Between thwarting bank robberies and helping the stretch, you have the city's thanks. Truly. Have a wonderful visit. What brings... Welcome to Aquila City's Trade Authority. The Trade Authority has a firm policy of not getting involved in internal matters. We're neutral in all affairs of the governments of the Free Star Collective and the United Colonies. You can't be... It's a matter of precedent. If we give even a little, we open ourselves up for endless rounds of begging. No, not one credit. Sorry, I'm done discussing this matter. If you ever need to deal with the trade authority, drop by. It can't be that bad, can it? So we had to clean up the graffiti on the range again. 
Why don't we just close it down? It's not like it gets much use. I need some place to put the prototypes through their paces. It stays. But you know, stretch trash will come back and loiter. Or worse. Let them. A few beer bottles and graffiti is the least we owe them. Yes, Miss Lance. I'm pleased you chose to visit us today. Oh. So Amira has some help? Good. She's going to work herself into an early grave if she's not careful. Laredo Firearms prides itself in helping out all the residents of Aquila City. I'll send Justin over to deliver our monthly donation. You are quite welcome. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Come back any time. Cartwrights have been donating to the Low House for dinner. Elias and Raisha both sent their donations. Thank you. No word from the Trade Authority. I'm sorry I even asked. I like to believe everyone is capable of empathy and compassion, but people like Duncan test my faith. I didn't say that, but I'm not going to correct you. Sarah Philborn gave me these credits to give to you for your help with the farm. You more than deserve it. They're just people. If you don't want to help them... Those credits are from the grateful Philborns, not me. And I wouldn't take a single one. You've earned it. I have one more thing for you to do. But I hope it's more of a reward. This is part of the Intelliwit Harvest. I'd like you to deliver it to Simone Jansen and her family. I want you to see the fruits of your labors. If someone calls me a UC... Amira said to expect you. This wheat ensures my family won't go to bed hungry. I... I genuinely don't know what my family would do without Amira. And uh, you, you have no idea how much it means. Over here in Aquila, it's humbling to see regular people just looking after us. On behalf of my family, of my daughter, bless you. <laughs> 